Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control uh, AC load such as bulb using a touch switch and also Arduino and a relay. So when you touch the touchpad, the light will go on and when you remove your hand, it will be off. Also, I'm going to change it. So when you touch this and leave it, it will stay on for a few seconds. So let's get started and explain the code to you. The code will be provided at the description, which you click and go to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So this is the TTP223. This is the touch module from this side. This is the touch area. I've uh, soldered it in this way, but you can solder it the other way. So when you insert it, so we have here three pins. So one is VCC. This goes to five volts. It can work from 3.3 to 5 volts and this the last one is for the ground and this is the data output. We also have an LED here when you touch it the LED will be on. So here are the three pins so this goes to VCC this goes to the ground and then the middle one is the data out which you connected to pin 2. So let me explain the relay now. The relay is 5 volts so you do need other external power so it can be powered with the Arduino. So we have three connections here. So this is common. So you always connect your one of the wires that you connect to AC or DC, whatever, heater, light, whatever. So you connect it, the light is connected here, one of them. And the other one will be either connected here or here, depending on the application. So this means normally connected. So without any power to this, it's always connected. If you connect another wire here, the, so it will be connected and your device will have power. And this is normally open, so when you connect the, the middle here and the other one is here, it will be normally open. When the relay energizes or get signal, this will connect these two wires. Uh, we have two uh, LEDs here. This red LED is for uh, when it gets power, and then this will activate it when it gets signal. So the three inputs or the three pin for the uh, relay or VCC so this is VCC and this is ground so you will connect this to 5 volt and this is connected to the ground or negative wire and this is input the input is where the signal comes this is connected to the pin 10 in this uh, application when the signal comes this light will be on so let me explain the AC bulb here so this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. Now I have connected the AC wires between the common and normally open NO. So let me let me explain the Arduino. So the touch panel has brown and green so this VCC is connected to the 5 volts here. I have 5 volts so that's, that's connected and the brown is connected to the ground to this ground here. And this module, that out pin, is connected to the pin 2 here. And then from the relay also, this is connected to the 5 volts. And then the ground is connected to the ground. So we have two grounds here and two 5 volt, one 5 volt, another. If you don't have two 5 volts in your Arduino, just use another uh, breadboard or just set one of these pins as an output and make it high. So now the the N pin of this one, which is the input for the relay, this is connected to the pin 10. So here is the code. I've written this uh, very simple. So we, we are setting a pin. We call it touch pin. The type is integer and we say pin 2 is the input. And then we, we there is another variable called val or value. So do not touch it. Don't worry about this. And then relay pin 10. This will be, used for, will be used to control the relay. This is a pin 10 is for the output to control the relay. And the setup is the main one. And then we have the loop. Inside the setup, we set the serial. 
so we can print some result here on this screen and then we also define the touch pen as an input and relay pen as an output because this will receive the input when we touch it it will detect it and this will be for the output to control the relay so we have to define the pen so this is pen 2 and this is pen 10 and then inside the loop we just say digital write because this relay that I'm using by default it needs to be high in order to be off so we see the relay pen this is as if I type 10 here so 10 is high so you can also type 10 so first we do that and after that we look at the touch pen which is pen 2 digital read so we are reading if there is any touch once you click and touch the result which is 1 will be touched and 0 will be not touched so the value will be restored here as initially it's 0 so we set it as 1 so now here we check if value is equal 1 Remember, if it has not been touched, this will not change, so this will be 0. But if it is touched, then val is equal 1, and then we say on the serial, on the screen, we print touched, and also we send the relay pin to low. And then we wait 100 milliseconds, and then also this is print ln with nothing, it just goes to the next line. And l mean new line or next line, so it goes to the new line because of this so we can see it on the next line so now let me run this, this code with the device side by side so you can see the result now let me upload the code so now the code is uploaded everything is ready so pay attention here okay so now when I press the light is on and the touch on the screen goes You can see here the green light is on and also here and the mm, AC load is on. The reason I have put this print ln, you can see that it's constantly entering if even if there is no value, every time the loop goes through to this goes and comes back every hundred milliseconds. So in one second it goes ten times and prints prints the enter for us. So this touch is printed ten times a second when it, when we read it. So now I've, I've updated the code. Now first let me test it. I've touched it. It waits for 5 seconds. And then the light goes off. So you can change the time whatever uh, seconds you want. So, so here is the code. Only thing that I've changed is this line. I've said that weight is equal 5 seconds. So integer weight is equal 5. This 5, five is 5 seconds. And then I've added this line here, delay weight multiplied by 1000, because here 1000 is 1000 milliseconds, so we want 5000. I want, to, I want to just make it easy for you, so you can enter 3 for 3 seconds, 5 for 5, or 8 for 8 seconds, so just change it to a single digit or two digits, and doesn't matter whatever you want. But it will be multiplied by 1000 here, because we need it as a millisecond. So this is the time that it will wait when the touch happens, the light goes the relay will be connected and it waits that's it guys uh, this was brief introduction of how to use the relay with the ac and touch thank you for watching please thumb up the video please subscribe and also share it with friends i appreciate it thank